What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, uh, crazy. Crazy. But I ended up at just beating it, like, on that first try. Um, kind of unreal, just how weak that thing is to kinetic, considering the massive struggle bus that we were on trying to use our big boom tank. And then this this little guy, man. This, this little dude with just two rifles. Took it out. Crazy. Anyway, uh, on to a new mission. I don't know if I get locked out, but I think we're going to go for attacking the refueling base. So, for this one, let's pull... I mean, it's a refueling base. Let's let's pull Beefy Boy out. I feel like he got... He kind of got like put to the side, and you know, I want to show him some love. A walking advertisement. You're not their mascot, six two one. Just focus on getting the job done. Calm down, Walter. Uh, no! <laughs> Get up there, tank. Code 1-5. Contact with AC of unknown affiliation. Suspected corporate hire. Single AC. Terminate immediately. No one else here? Okay. Nope, oh, oh, I got one. Dodge this, you filthy casual. These are the tanks. Any over here? Oh, hang on. That. No. I thought maybe it was a weapon cache up here, but it's not. I guess it's not the orbs at all, it's just the, the green tanks. I really need to get this thing that better generator. annoying 
Bro, the single, single little dodgy shit. Kidding me? Jesus. We might have to change up Beefy Boy. Pull out like Gatlings on it or something. It's like we have the damage, but just damn, we need we need something to lock these big boys or these 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 quick dudes down because we're not. I mean, then again, it could just be I, I make I need to make a second tank variant. I could have one that's just all about big boom, and then one that's a little a little smarter. It is pretty satisfying to watch stuff just blow up. those helicopters. Missiles back.
I definitely need like a, a Gatling gun or something. Damn, we still gotta go far. There's no way I'm getting through all this shit. Some more helicopters. thing is I should I should just push on but like I don't want to leave any stone unturned you know I see some MTs over there And to be fair, pretty much every AC I have has gotten overhaul, except for Beefy Boy. Every single one of them. I've like changed up in some capacity. Whether that be new hardware or no, whatever the case is. Oh god, there's a ton of them watching the top two. All right. Beefy Boy needs an overhaul, and one of those overhauls, I think, is either going to be some type of long-range rifle or a Gatling gun. say the amount of unaware kills I'm getting as a tank is actually pretty fucking comical. I see some MTs. Oh, no, those are just... Never mind. That's not MTs. We're good. Oh, Sherpa. Bro, I can't believe I made it. 705. <laughs> I will say, after getting used to the mobility of the other ones, that there's times where the tank drifting is definitely hard to control. There's a shit ton of vertical misses. I thought there would be.
refinery go boom. Like we had a boss fight. This might be hard. I want your energy lance. Nice payday. general I tend to use my left arm as like the finisher so what we're gonna do is go to the parts shop and we're going to sell the detonating bazooka and then we're gonna buy it for the other arm oh, wait the majestic though mmm um Would it be more though? How many shots? Same blast radius. 850 accumulative versus 905. This has juicy impact. 1390. But that has slightly higher attack power. Direct hit adjustment. 190 versus 220. I'm not 100% on this, but I think it's, it's a damage modifier. So my guess is at a direct hit, you would do 220%. Of your typical damage whereas with this you would do 190 percent of your typical damage obviously this is all just theory crafting but i think that is it 
uh, effective range is longer at 800. I'm never using it at that type of range anyway. Um, man, oh, the, the load difference, the weight on this is huge. But for a tank, I think the detonating bazooka does still make sense. Uh, okay, so. And then let's look at our gens. Isn't there one that's... There's the mega high capacity with dog shit recharge. 2700 and 900. No drawbacks, resulting in a product to perform stable performance in any assembly. It's not bad. It's a significant energy output. 3600 is pretty damn high. Um, hmm. I mean, it's 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 a straight upgrade to what I have, aside from the post recovery. But I think the I think I have one that that's better already. Let me check. So, energy firearm specialization is down on that, but I'm not using those at all. So. Generator. The 2000 2000 is worth hanging on to. You, I mean, eventually I'm going to buy all the parts. Providing capable output for its size. Weight is 38. I mean, on a lightweight, I don't see why I would ever use that. You have something you specialize in. Energy Firearm is at 94 on it. But if I was doing energy, I'd probably go with this, the VP-20C. I think that's just an upgrade to what I have. The D has better post-recovery in the huge size. Let's buy you. I mean, the weight, the weight is, but if I'm doing like a super light, I would do that. That gives me the weight I need at 3,800, but still good. No, I don't think there's a reason to hang on to this guy. This one weighs more, but I don't think I need you. I think you're, you're old. You're old. Um, FCS, better medium range. This is the super missile lock. I do need that. Alright. So let's think here. I think I need... I need something to kill trash with right now. Because I'm just... Gunning and gunning and gunning. And doing nothing but bazookas. Which bazookas are great. But they have a time and a place. And I'd rather fire that off after I've gotten it staggered. Same with the, the songbirds. I like songbirds a lot. So let me look if there's a different missile launcher, and then I need, let's see, on the right back, double songbird. No, I do like having missiles, though. Eight cell vertical, three cell dual, so that's going to be a set of six. Traps target and pincer trajectory, limiting evasive options. Hmm. Less damage than what I have. Verticals are nice. I think I keep... Well, I don't know. Verticals might be nice, though, because I'm the way I'm fighting, I'm so slow. I think I go back to the verticals, to be honest. Because with the vertical... Um, which one was the one? I, I did try out the one. I tested this out. I did not like it. It shoots one little missile that then splits. Very uh, mediocre damage, I felt. Um, I mean, it's... <sighs> thing is, it's less damage, but the hit on this is better... Let's go back to this. Let's go back to that over firing out all the missiles. Because I'm frequently ducking behind cover, in which case the vertical missile launcher is going to be better there. And then... I mean, I could just rock the, the straight-up assault rifle. Easy to use the full auto. Where's that new one I got? No, I got it in the other hand. Let's do the linear rifle. And then see if I have anything... 
I would replace that with burst rifle. Better attack power, better impact, less rounds. The charge attack power is down on it. Charge impact is down on it. So charging is good as a tank because I can freely charge. I wish I had some of the things as velocity is in a stat that's listed. I like it should be. Laser rifle, really high charge attack power, but the impact is kind of weak. Laser shotgun is great, but the range on that is less than ideal. Um, I mean, if I'm just clearing out trash with it, the kinetic rifle is super good. I might just stick with that. Like this would be better for you. All right, let's get you a beefier head, Wally head. Higher AP, less defense. But overall, stats are phenomenal on this thing. Energy load goes down, my weight goes up significantly, but... Alright, let's do it. We'll do the Wally head. Don't think there's a heavier chest. Basho arms. My arms load limit will be too low with that. Tian Kang, Tian Lao. I think this is... Oh yeah. That is super beefy. Arms load limit goes even higher. But I lose some firearm specialization with it. But I wonder how much of an impact that is. I mean, this whole thing, that's, that's such a huge defensive increase. Let's buy those. And then... Alright. Big AP boost. Big AP boost. So we're almost up to like 20,000 AP. Which is making this thing pretty terrifying. And then we got the medium range. This is the medium range with the missile. I could really go for medium range assist. Hmm. Very, I'm never doing that. I mean, the missile loss isn't that low, but the multi-lock correction, I do wish that was a little better. Let's go with this. I think that's the play. He's looking pretty stacked now. Beefy boy is looking beefier than ever. I'm debating, do I want assault armor on it? Because I could go pulse armor with this guy just to make him even beefier. But occasionally it is fun to throw out assault armor and blow shit up. But I do think that's better with faster ACs. Barrier duration 25, 4000 resilience, 3300 resilience for 10 seconds. Let's try it, why not? We'll do pulse armor. Okay. Beefy boy, save. That was the generator, probably. Yeah, I think I bought back that, that shit-ass generator I did. Yeah, we can just straight give you this one, which is, like, better in every way, just weighs more. You're good, and then we got the new FCS for you. No, we already have it. Oh, wait. So this one, I'll have better multi-lock, slower missile lock, and better medium range assist. Um, I feel like missile lock is going to be more important than multi-lock. I'm losing 20 there, 
but my multi-lock gets phenomenally good. Hmm. We we'll make it more viable for their missions. Let's do it, because we're also getting the the bonus to medium range, which we're not really using close range. So I think that's overall going to be a better setup. Upward thrust. This would get me more upward thrust with my quick boost energy consumption. Mm. Two hundred more thrust for a hundred more energy consumption. You know, I got a good gen on it. Let's go with that. All right. He's looking good. Old steel is already punching out some serious damage. You got that on. Scan effect duration. Let's go with that. We got that. Can you also rock the mega heavy arms? You can. I'm happy with that. We got the medium range assault armor. Punchy stick and the missile launcher, so you're good. And then, as for you, 246,000. Uh, what I really want to do is give you. No, I guess I gotta keep the 2000 2000 because otherwise, I'm not gonna have the kind of gen I need to run with this. That's the right FCS. Quick boost, the legs. That's good. I wanted you to have some type of energy sword. Over the pile bunker. Left back. I can't. I can do the pulse blade. I just barely pass. Hell yeah. Alright. Everybody has been upgraded in a very nice way, I think. And sortie missions. Okay, dope. I do get to do all of them. So don't make a choice yet. All right, wrapping things up here. We will go after V7 in the next episode. Probably bring fast as fuck out because we're going to need to have uh, something sneaky if we're just going to be dipping past surveillance cameras. But either way, that is a tale for another time. So I'll catch you all soon when we continue.